Welcome everyone to Mr. Adobe where you get prime educative videos on Adobe Premiere, Adobe Photoshop and Adobe After Effects. Before getting into the video, please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Without further ado, Mr. Adobe will be guiding you through today's video. Hello everyone, welcome to another cool and easy to follow tutorial on Adobe Premiere Pro. Creating a realistic shadow can make your videos look more professional. Before getting into the video, let's go through the video that we prepared beforehand to create the footage for this tutorial. In this video, we use the anime figure of Monkey D. Luffy. First things first, import the required footage in the project panel. Then drag the background footage to the timeline. Again, go inside the project panel, drag the foreground footage and drop it over the background footage. Duplicate the foreground footage and drag it over the video track too. To duplicate, use the shortcut, select the video clip, hold the Alt key and the left button on the mouse and drag it over the selected video layer. After completion, let's jump to the effects panel. In the search box, type basic 3D. You will find it underneath the video effects under the perspective option. Select the basic 3D effects, drag it over the timeline and drop it to the middle video layer. Then go to the effects control panel. And you will find various options under the basic 3D panel such as swivel, tilt, distance to images, specular highlights preview, etc. Now let's try out some of the options to find out what they actually do. Adjust the selected video clip so that it resembles the shadow of our character. You guys may have wondered why I duplicated the foreground video layer and dragged it over the second video layer. Let's find out why. Go to the timeline and place the playhead at the beginning of the clip. Then uncheck the toggle track output of the third video layer. What do you guys notice? We notice that the arrangement to make the realistic shadow remains unrealistic and unclear. Ignore it and go back to the process. Go to the effects panel. Search for a color balance effect or hover your mouse wheel and find it under the image control. Select the color balance RGB effect, drag it to the timeline and drop it over the second video layer. Again, go to the effects control panel. Scroll down and you will find color balance effect with red, green and blue options. Set the value of all options to zero. You will notice that the second video layer will change to black. Then decrease the opacity of the selected video layer to make the shadow look more realistic. Then go to the timeline, place your playhead to the very beginning and hit the spacebar to preview your entire footage on the program monitor. It looks good, but it's not perfect, but we can fix it. Go to the effects panel, search for Gaussian blur, select it, then drag and drop it to the second video layer in the timeline. Then go to the effects control panel and adjust the Gaussian blur. Hit the spacebar to preview the footage on the program monitor. We find that we still need to fix it a little more. Again, go to the effects panel and select Rogan Edges effect to make the edges of the top footage smooth. Drag and drop it over the top video layer. Then go to the effects control panel. Adjust the options of it and again preview your entire footage on the program monitor. It looks more realistic than before. That's it. We can create this type of shadow not only in motion clips but also in still images, following the same steps. Let's go through it briefly.
So that is the end of today's tutorial on creating a realistic shadow in Adobe Premiere. If you liked the video, please thumbs up and let me know if you thought it was helpful in the comment section below. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe us for more interesting tutorials on Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Premiere and Adobe After Effects. Till then, stay safe, stay creative and have a good time.